Hey everybody, welcome to Juju Tips. I'm Juju and this is my mom's little room. We are here making t-shirts in Ransomville, New York for our upcoming camper tour. I don't know how to make them, but she does. So are you ready? Let's get it done. <laughs> to upload our image, select from photo library, and boom. So it brings it up in this, we don't have to do anything to it because it's already done. And then the image name is Camper Tour. So uploaded, boom, insert. Ooh, it comes out giant, make it small. So I made the canvas small, so you can see all the lines. Now we're gonna click on the image and I'm going to resize it. I'm gonna have to make this bigger come back um, so we're starting with Rosie's t-shirt which Rosie's t-shirt is small we measured it out and we're not gonna go any bigger than eight inches right that's a nice truck that went by too so Rosie's shirt's gonna be eight inches so we got that resized correct the next button is make it so when you hit make it make sure you hit mirror for iron on and it turns it around for you. You don't have to do anything else. Click continue. And it's going to select my Cricut. And then we're going to cut. And one of the tips is to mark your sheet on your mat yes. as to which way it's up. Because that way, when you take it off, you put it down so that the sticker's down. So it doesn't lay on a rug or something. Oh, yeah, because, like, my hair gets everywhere. Right. And so when you put it back on there, it would put your hair back on there and everything else. And it's not going to stick as nice. So your mat's going to go bad quicker. And so with this iron-on transfer vinyl, we've got a roll, which most of the time that's where it it's comes. It's white. Um, it also comes in 12 by 12 sheets or 12 by 18 sheets. And... With this type, we have to do shiny side down. Yes, and that's the hardest thing to remember. You're cutting the vinyl. You're not cutting the sheet. Just the vinyl on the back. Gotcha. And you want them. It's a pain in the butt to put on. See? <laughs> it's always stuck. Stick, stack, stuck. Well, it's a brand new mat, too. That doesn't help. Good. Close enough. No. Nope. There she goes. Close is good. And then you use this guy to get your air bubbles out because you don't want your air in there. Oh, what's that? That's a priest. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. Oh, okay. And it's only going to go down to probably about here anyway. Right. So what is that like? Some That's a bubble. Bubble. Yeah. So, but don't cut it off because you use a lot of vinyl that way. If I cut it off here. You'd waste inches. Right. So, so it's not worth it. Just leave it all attached and just let it hang from your machine. Okay. So you can load it. So, iron on? Yes. Correct. And it says to load it. It says to load it and mirror is turned on and iron on material is face down. So shiny face down. Yeah. Nice. Load the tools and mat. Not required. I don't know if that means 
load fine point blade in clamp B and press the button. So now that it's all cut out by the Cricut, I've come down about a quarter inch to half inch and I'm going to cut off this extra vinyl and that makes it so that I didn't waste uh, four inches of vinyl here. And I don't want to press too hard because this is a brand new knife. And it will go through the mat. We don't want to go through the mat. Better to do it light three or four times than to do it one hard. Also, when you're taking this design off, mm -hmm. if you roll your mat back, mm -hmm. it's easier to get off with less roll. So we, we do take it off, though, to put on the transfer paper? You have to weed it first. Oh, you gotta weed it. So you gotta take it off and weed it. Hey, we'll take it off to weed the thing. Hey, pay. Some people like to weed it right on the mat. I don't. Because you can be cutting another thing out while you're weeding this one and save yourself time. Okay. So it doesn't make a lot of sense. Cut around the design. And that's why being on iron-on was so important. Because it goes through, but not through both. Correct. Hey. Correct. That's important. Then when you come back to this, by your design up here, you know which spots you want there and which spots you don't want. Like here, it's got a block underneath the mountains. And this is why it's called weeding, because you've still got your middle of your R. And you can't leave it here. If no. you leave it on here, it'll it be on the shirt. Yeah. So you have to get that little bitty spot out of there. Push together. That's it. Hey. <laughs> And sometimes, depending on what color you're using, you can mess them up bad. Like I just poked through the A instead of the center. And road. That's when this helps. If it's plugged in. It's not. Of course. But this also helps because you can see through it to see where you're supposed to be going or not. This is where you have to know your design to make sure you don't take up something that you don't want to take up. After you've weeded all the extra pieces out of it, in order to get it so that you have the center, you fold it in half with the shiny side together and crease it at the top and the bottom and at the two sides, matching up just the design, not the whole piece of paper. But not the plastic at all, no, just the design. just the design. And that gives me a spot across here and a spot down here so I know where I'm going to lay it on the t-shirt. Perfect. Okay. Now to take and prepare your shirt, because your shirt is cold, mm -hmm. you take this, and you put it down and just hold it. Two uh -huh. to three seconds. Uh -huh. Not that long. Uh -huh. 
coffee. It's all done. So now it's nice and toasty. Then and you want to put this on. And when you put it down, that's it. Like, because it's already nice and toasty. Right. Mm. That's difficult. A little bit farther down. That's good. And then I take, and I always put a silicone sheet over it so that you're not changing the shirt to different colors. Especially a red shirt will go. Put that on there, moderate pressure, and push, start. That's it. Now we'll find out if it's a hot peel or not. Yep. Now, how I was taught, you turn it over, you put your silicone sheet, it's a fine, Turn it over, put your silicone sheet on top of it, always on top, because you don't want to change your color of your shirt. Oh. And your vinyl is already on there. It's not going in. It's not going to go on. Okay. So press it again for 20 seconds. It's not going anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna center my shirt on the ironing pad. You wanna make sure that your design is three fingers down on the big shirts. Little shirts a little, probably two fingers. So I'm gonna put this two, three. And then I want to know, okay, so where's my center? There's a timer on it. Let's see, just do two. And what I've done on um, this is you take the design and you go opposite. You match up your design and you crank your corners, your, which would be your center. So I've got both done. Here's my center that way. This, and your center that way. And then that center that way. It's already at temperature and start. It's 20 seconds. And because it's so big, I'm gonna have to do it twice. You can do this with an iron, but you get way better temperature out of this one. I mean, it does the entire surface. It's not an iron. You don't move it around. Before you peel it too fast, make sure it's sticking. And this is a heat peel, so you have to peel this one while it's warm. And, all. and then we're going to flip it over and press the back. And this is a silicone sheet that you can get from Amazon or anywhere and it doesn't change the, the heat from the press, doesn't change the color of the t-shirt. I'm thinking I'm shutting it off. And that's it. With this particular vinyl, it's said to wait 24 hours before you wash it and use low heat or air dry. So here we are with the last one. Uh, my mom is weeding that out and 
am so excited. If they turned out great, please take a picture of what you do and tag me on Instagram with hashtag use Juju's tip. And we will see you next time. Bye.